Methods of preparing the statement of cash flows. There are two methods to prepare the statement of cash flows. The first is the direct method and the second is the indirect method. It is worth mentioning that the indirect method is the mostly used and preferred method. However, we will illustrate the approach for both methods here. Preparing the statement of cash flows using the direct method. The direct method is a straightforward method. Assume that the business has a cash box. Cash from operations goes into the cash box and cash expenses related to operations are withdrawn from the cash box. Each time cash is collected or dispersed, it goes in or out of the box respectively. The amount of cash that is in the box at the end of the period represents the cash generated from operating activities, assuming that we had no cash in the box at the beginning of the period. The cash flow statement, as previously mentioned, is composed of three main sections, cash related to operating, investing, and financing activities. By subtracting the cash outflows from inflows for operating activities, we get cash generated or used, which is the case if outflows are greater than inflows from operating activities. The same thing applies for investing activities. By subtracting the cash outflows from inflows for investing activities, we get the cash generated or used from investing activities. The same thing applies for financing activities. By subtracting the cash outflows from inflows for financing activities, we get the cash generated or used from financing activities. To summarize the process of preparing the statement of cash flows by using the direct method, we will get the cash flow from operating activities by subtracting the cash inflows from cash outflows from operating activities to get the cash generated or used from operations. We calculate the cash flows from investing activities by subtracting the cash inflow from the cash outflow from investing activities to get the cash generated or used from investments. We calculate the cash flows from financing activities by subtracting the cash inflow from the cash outflow from financing activities to get the cash generated or used from financing activities. By adding the cash generated or used from operating, investing, and financing activities, we get the total cash generated or used from all activities. If we add this amount to the beginning cash balance, we get the ending balance of cash, which must match with the balance of cash appearing in the statement of financial position. Preparing the statement of cash flows using the indirect method. By using the indirect method, we are not going to calculate the cash generated or used from operating activities in the same way as the direct method. However, we are going to still calculate the investing and financing cash flows mostly using the same way as in the direct method, although sometimes this is also deduced from the balance sheet of two years and other indirect ways. To calculate the cash flow from operating activities using the indirect method, we are to start by the net income as presented on the income statement, which is prepared using the accrual basis. Then, we carry out certain adjustments that will convert this net income figure into cash from operating activities. We will illustrate in a separate video how these adjustments are done and the concept behind that. After calculating the operating cash flows, we will add to it the investing and financing cash flows to get the total cash generated or used from all activities as in the direct method. By adding the beginning cash balance to this figure, we get the ending cash balance, which must match with the cash balance on the statement of financial position as well. 